I'm Joyce Watson. I was Joyce Isaacson, born in Mount Isa, and my mother uh, was born at Riversley in 1912, and we were new people. I'm Judy Watson, daughter of Joyce Watson, and I live in Brisbane now. I was born in Mandubra uh, when mum and dad were moving around um, the post office and my, the matrilineal side of my family is one new people from northwest Queensland. I'm Rani Carmichael, Judy's daughter and I was born in Darwin. And Rani and I worked on our uh, possum skin cloak piece together. Yeah. Well I think it was great we worked individually but when I found out Judy and Rani were doing something like this and I had the opportunity, I thought, oh, I can't miss out on this because I first saw a possum skin cloak at the museum in Canberra and I, I couldn't believe that something so very, very beautiful but very moving to see it, you know, the old people's, what they used to use years ago. But fortunately, I took down um, an artist's proof of this lino. You know, as I grew to know a little bit about what I was doing, I, <clears throat> I was so in, wrapped in my mother's journey through life and where she started out and um, her joy of the water and fishing and the things that her mother did, you know, with fishing and stuff. So I started creating images referring to my mother my mother's Grace Isaacson and she was uh, born in 1912 at Riversley Station and um, her mother um, her mother was one year we think she was born at Lily Creek near Bujamala at Lawn Hills there and uh, her father was James King. With our possum skin, the one that you, um, my mum and I did, um, in the centre um, I did the tree with um, lots of like different eyes on it, like instead of leaves. Mm. I think I've always been um, quite interested by eyes, like the um, people say they're the window to our souls, and I just think it's interesting, like how different how different people have like their eyes are all they all look different with different colors and shapes and. Mm. It's a beautiful metaphor. It is, it is. And I just love the fact that she planned it all out and then, you know, designed it for us to work on. Water connects all of us because of the living water that flows through Lawn Hill Gorge, which is known as dinosaur water. It's so old. And so it's bubbling up through little fissures in the um, limestone in that mm. area, feeding the country. and. Also, it's a place where um, Mabel Daly's mother, Rosie, escaped from a massacre at Lawn Hill. Mm. So that's sort of, it's all connected together through those places and those countries. And um, Nana and uh, her mother Mabel sort of ran away from Riversley Station with other kids in tow and uh, ran away from abuse and police, etc., to another station Fontania and then Moorstone, but they walked along creeks and there's stories about how um, Mabel, Nana's mother, you know, used to catch fish and Nana said she would give us the flesh off the backbone. She gave us the best of what she had. So that's always a connection back to mothers looking after mm. country and culture and family, trying to hold them together. Mm. Butchamula, you know, it's sort of known as... Uh, where the ancestor spirit, the rainbow serpent, comes out of uh, the water and um, makes, makes the, the channels through the country, feeds the country and lives there. But also the rainbow is another term for that. And in fact, um, Mabel Daly, my great-grandmother, your great-great, no, your grandmother, um, said to, oh, Nana was talking to her one day and she said, oh, how's um, Lilydale Springs going? And yeah, Mabel said, oh, the rainbow blew it up. And she found out later that some guy who was on the property there had dynamited it. And so the springs were no longer coming through the ground, you know, the way that they were before. But it's interesting that that's what she called it was, you know, the, it was the rainbow, the rainbow circle. But she also said, Judy, that um, 
the rainbow would get, if, if you did the wrong thing, the rainbow would be very angry and dry mm. up all the water, mm. you know, so that coincided. That I was told long before I found out about this bloke doing that to the spring on his property, obviously wanting more water for his cattle, mm. but he killed it instead. Except that there is water there now when we've been back. But and a little, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, And throughout Lawn Hill Gorge and other places, there are images, both uh, painted and pecked images of rainbow and also, you know, rainbow serpents and, and many other things too. Mm. But I've always sort of thought of that, you know, when I think about our connection to country. Mm. So that's the forms around ours and then Rani's beautiful tree with eyes, which mm. is, you know, a lovely image that yeah. connects us together. And also your like reeds about that. Oh yeah, that's right. Where you go back to country, we're walking in the footsteps of our ancestors and it's just such a wonderful feeling, you know. Whether you're going over the spinifex or the rocks or, or jumping into Bujamal or into that lovely water or us at Mount Isa, mm. we've just got such a strong connection. Mm within but our country. I, I think it's also the process of sort of working on this and mm. doing it together and that's what's been really great is you're working, you're working strongly and you're looking and you're focusing but at the same time you're talking to everybody around oh, you yes. and the fact that you're all making things together. Mm. I think that that's something where all of those stories then get imprinted into the material and that material culture becomes this fabric that connects everybody together. It is, mm. and and the fact that these are possums that went to live in New Zealand and they came back <laughs> <laughs> to become part of this cloak. It's wonderful. But possum uh, fur was used in uh, women's and men's um, hair string skirts too. So sometimes the possum skin was mixed in with um, hair, human hair, and rolled together and ochred. So mm. I've seen a lot of you know skirts and things from our area, known as skirts or women's aprons, and so that's a different sort of use of it, where it's sort of taking it and making it into these long threads. It almost mm. look like seaweed as they move around, and very beautiful. You, uh, they rub it on their thigh, yeah. and it's like it, it just yeah, all the hair. And as Judy said, when she was in say museums in different places, probably in England and everything. You never know, it could have been your own ancestor's hair, mm. skirt, you know, made from our own family's hair. It's just just an interesting concept, isn't it, when you think about it? Well, it's mm -hmm. interesting thinking of the DNA, not just from the hair, but whoever's rolling it on their legs, oh. whoever's then transferring mm. it and wearing it, and whoever's handling it after that. You know, mm. that's sort of travelling, mm. and it's, you know, moving, and it's yeah. car catching country in it you oh, know, as yes. it's moving through yeah. as well. And, and really going out there, um, it's just that you can feel the presence. It, I, I don't know how the rest of you feel, but when you're going out back to where you were born or something like that, or where your country is, you get this feeling inside, as though you've never been away, and it just fills you up with so much energy and so much, I don't know, pure joy. It's just an amazing thing. Yeah. I think also apart from love of country, the country owns us. We don't own we don't own the land. The land yeah. owns us, and as long as we look after it, I think that's the main thing. Well, I think it's um, by bringing all the different artworks together. It's sort of showing how um, all the different people in the community all come together to form. Yeah, mm. it's very yeah. important. And so all of our stories are interwoven together, and. The fact that we're maybe 3% of the population or whatever, we should make the most of it and realise how important that is, that we have the thread that connects us back to country, back to ancestors and back to this really important place that is Australia. And so I think it's great for us to be able to sort of, you know, almost go back through our, our country and culture and pull those memories out and lift them up and share them.